Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. We have some news from the gear world. Carlos Alcaraz, he has signed up with Louis Vuitton, much like what Hugo Boss did with uh, Berrettini, for example. So I think that's an interesting move. I'm, we're gonna see more fashion brands go into sports. And I think this makes a lot of sense from that business point of view. So congrats to uh, Carlos. I'm sure he got a pretty good paycheck. And congrats to Louis Vuitton because they have one of the most exciting players tennis have seen. There have been some string changes on the tour. Uh, Marcos Giron has switched to Yonex Politour Pro. The yellow one and he's not alone that's also happened with Ben Shelton who's been a little bit all over the place with the different Yonex strings and now he's with the yellow Politor Pro which we see many pros use that Lloyd Harris, Nick Kyrgios, Martin Fusovic the list goes on. I get a lot of messages about people switching to Technifiber because you see players with white rackets that's not really the case. Bubble have their Wimbledon team version, so they actually paint, for example, Jordan Thompson's rackets to look different for the grass court season. Same with Dunlop, they also have a limited edition of the SX300 spin lines. So you see Kecmanovic, for example, he's actually using the new cosmetic, it's not a different racket. So Babala and Dunlop, they have Wimbledon editions. It's not a Technifiber change, although we've seen a bunch of players switch to Technifiber recently. Uh, they've done pretty well with the signups. Corentin Mote is here in Mallorca. He has the TFX1 and Alexander Bublik, uh, who switched to the T5 305. He actually won a first ATP 500 title in Halle, so that was pretty exciting. Good signs for Technifiber. Technifiber Dunlop taking some small market share here and there, I think over the last year or so. That's a quick one for today. I have a lot of interesting podcasts coming up, so please subscribe to that one. And there will also be videos, vlog from Mallorca and um, some racket and string videos as well. Asics Gel Resolution 9 shoe review. I know many of you asked for the Restring Zero string review. That's also to come. I have a huge pile of work on my desk, kind of, but I've been traveling, so it's been tough to keep it rolling. But it will be coming up periodically here, so Make sure to subscribe. I thank you all for your support. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.